We are planning to have a planning session, as a matter of fact, because uh, this is a surprise to us. After, what, 17 months of continuous decline, suddenly it went up. And, and double the estimates too, right? Double the estimates too, no? It went by 10%, then it's 22.5%. And uh, our projection, which is uh, very low, because basing it from last year's performance, was about 3%. Mm -hmm. So obviously, with the, with, with the kind of showing that January has, uh, we probably have to recalibrate, no? Uh, and it's a good time because uh, we are now going to start uh, doing the export development plan for 2018, 19, and 21. And, and we're adding the other three years, uh, deviating from the usual of three years only. We'll probably try to, 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 to do a plan up to six years. So you have a longer runway, which also talks about sustainability, but I think the focus here, sir, is on sustainability. So we have actually the breakdown of these export figures, and I wanted to get your take in terms of how to sustain these growth across this different set of commodities and products. I know electronics, certainly uh, the, the, the biggest winner here, but you know things like coconut oil, even if they're, they're at 20 billion, they actually went up close to 300%. Yes. So talk to, talk to us about which sectors do you think need more support in terms of getting the kind of growth needed for this sustainer? Well, first and foremost, I think we should look at the reason why they all went up, no? And, uh, and they went up faster than electronics uh, all of a sudden, no? Uh, it's probably because our major market has really recovered, no? Europe, US, uh, Japan in, in a way, and China also. And we are looking really at China to be the one to sustain the growth, no? In the past, before we had a problem, political problem with them, the export to China was growing in leaps and bounds, no? 50%, 40% uh, per annum, until... Uh, political issues came in, yes. Political issues came in, they, 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 they went down sharply, they were even two months negative, and then it climbed up uh, uh, very gradually, and, uh, and, uh, and now, they're number one, of course, with, with Hong Kong. And no? you look at the rebalancing uh, playing a part yeah, of that. Yes. Uh, now, sir, I mean, despite the trade deficit that we see, it's still 16 years of trade deficit, this rebalancing may work out. The question I have, though, is at the heart of competitive sustainability is the labor force. And you are also the honorary mm. chair of the Employers' Confederation of the Philippines, which is why I would be remiss not asking this. You've got these guidelines. Uh, Under Secretary Bang Lung Sod of the DOLE is is, is saying that they're going to release them this week. Have you been involved in the consultations and how do you think these new guidelines will affect the sector, especially well, with regard to production? Very, very much. Uh, we had uh, several meetings uh, all in a row, even while the secretary was out and his I think he came back yesterday. He's supposed to be signing whatever uh, he has now on the table. Uh, we, th there was really a, some, some sort of a impasse, a impasse on, uh, on, on some of the issues. No? The, the labor sector wants to, to really end all sorts of, uh, you know, which is not possible under the present law. Mm -hmm. So from our point of view, we say the law is harsh and sometimes impractical. Even the 555 that uh, is already uh, illegal, we are, we are following that no, and we intend to follow that. But mind you, uh, even that is a, is a questionable thing. Uh, you know, they have been, uh, Department of Labor saying they had regularized 58,000 some time ago, workers. But do you know the implication of having regularized 58,000? Exactly, what has it been for competitiveness? Well, because the other 58,000 will no longer be hired. Well, sir, I mean, the, the guidelines have to, be, they have to be released. We look forward to hearing from you once those things come in, especially yes, with regards yes, to uh, the competitiveness of the labor sector and the exports. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Sergio Ortiz-Luis from the ECOP and from Phil Export.